hey guys welcome back to my channel and a warm welcome welcome if you're new honey today i have some heartbreaking news migos rapper takeoff has been shot and pronounced dead at 28 what? and it looks like he got shot in houston and y'all will never believe what it was over so if you're ready to get into this crazy story just stay tuned Takeoff, who was one out of three members of the Migos, is dead now after an early morning shooting in Houston. Law enforcement sources and multiple witnesses have said that the fatal accident went down shortly after 2.30 a.m. when cops got a call for a man that was shot at a bowling alley called 810 Billiards and Bowling Houston. Sources say Takeoff and Quavo were there playing dice when a fight broke out and that's when someone opened fire, shooting Takeoff either in the head or near his head. So when I did some research online, multiple sources were saying that Quavo was the one who was losing in the dice game and the initial shots rang out from his camp. So right now, a lot of people are speculating that perhaps someone from Quavo's camp accidentally um, shot takeoff with, you know, maybe it was a stray bullet or something like that. But um, it's also being said that he was possibly shot multiple times, um, once from Quavo's camp and then another from like the other people who were getting shot at. So, oh, and one more thing. Another witness said um, they are almost positive that the shot from their own camp is the one that took him out because when he did get shot in initially, his body instantly dropped. So I found this post on Twitter and it looks like a witness who is recounting exactly what happened along with some photos and proof of them actually being there. So y'all can pause to read this it is pretty long um and it is detailed though so it gives you a play-by-play -play of exactly what happened but this is the main reason why a lot of people are speculating that quavo's team will take off and quavo's team is the one who accidentally took take off out so the whole situation is just really crazy and really sad all around it looked like witnesses were saying that a lot of people were trying to move him at first, but then they ended up just putting him back down and Quavo was yelling for someone to get help. He was on the phone with 911. There was a nurse there and she was trying to do what she could to help. So Quavo was asking the 911 operator, what does, you know, what does she need to do? What does the nurse need to do? And also it does look like takeoff was not the only victim. I do believe that he was the only one who got killed, but police are saying that two other people were shot and were taken into the hospital in private vehicles. And as of now, their condition has not been announced, but we know that Quavo was not injured in this situation. And y'all, I don't wish um, hurt or pain or anything on anyone. It just sucks that the person who like, it seems like actually started it all, it came out perfectly fine. And like the person who seems as though they weren't involved, they weren't really tripping, that's the one who ended up dead. Like, dude. And I might get a lot of hate for saying this, I don't know, but I'm kind of glad that Offset is doing his family thing. Because yesterday, they were, um, they as in Cardi and Offset, were actually, I think, giving out stuff to um, the children at culture school. So, like, it's really nice. He's giving back. It just seems like he's out the way now. He's safe. He's with a f his family. He's, like, he's not worried about in that anymore. And meanwhile, Quavo and Takeoff were still going to dice games, still living the same life. And I'm not trying to say that Takeoff doesn't have fun anymore, but it seems as though his priorities are more so on his family. So he just seems to stay out of the way more. He seems to be at home more often because He's a family man now. He has children. He's taking care of his kids. So I'm I'm actually glad that I'm proud of that for Offset. And I'm glad because who knows? He could have been there as well. And we don't know what that outcome would have been. So and just a couple hours before the shooting, everything seemed fine. 
Takeoff even posted a pic of himself lighting up at the bowling alley. And a few hours before that, Quavo had posted a video of him riding around with Jazz Prince, who was celebrating his birthday. So it just seemed like a typical fun night for the Migos. Now, they did say that Jazz was not with Quavo and Takeoff when the shooting happened, which is good. There's one less person in the line of fire. I just wish none of them were there. And I know, like, wrong place, wrong time is real, y'all. Like, and honestly, if you guys know and if you guys have heard, it seems as though Takeoff is, like, the most unproblematic member out of the three. He's always low-key. He's never really in beef. He's never really just known for causing fights or causing arguments. He's just so low-key. And so that's what makes me feel like he was just at the wrong place the wrong time because it's not even like it's not even like he had anything to do with it i just feel like this whole situation was unnecessary it did not have to happen the way it did if you are gambling in any way please be prepared for a loss because if you think you're going to win every time that's a great attitude to have but realistically you are not going to win every gamble that you take like that that happens okay losses happen and if you're going to try and shoot somebody because you're losing just don't play how about that like just don't because now other people's lives are at stake and other people's lives are getting lost because of temporary emotions permanent decisions are being made off of that that's not the way to go and there was a saying that i used to hear all the time it says you cannot see clearly in boiling water what does that mean? When you're upset, you can't see things clearly. You might over-exaggerate something. You might not be taking it for what it is because you are in a certain state of mind. Give yourself some time to cool off and chill and just understand that sometimes losses happen. Doesn't mean anyone should end up dead. And to be clear, I'm not trying to say Quavo's the one that did it or anything, but it does seem like it was somebody from his side. Maybe he was just on go. Maybe he just got sloppy with the shots. But either way, nobody should be trying to shoot anyone over a dice game. Come on now. So, yeah, guys, if you have anything else you want to add, if you have any information or you just want to leave your thoughts, feel free to leave it down below. And in the meantime, if you made it this far, make sure you like, subscribe and hit that bell. That way you're notified every time I post. And guys and girls, please control your anger. Please work on controlling that ego and that anger, baby, because it's not going to get you anywhere. It's really not. OK, love you. Bye.